In today's video, I'm stitching out the Trojan logo from this week's live embroidery class. And I'll put the link down below just in case you missed the class. And here I'm stitching on a Richardson 112 and I'm using the Hat Hoop Gen 2 from Hoop Tech and my thread is from Candle Thread. And the main thing that I talked about in this week's live embroidery class was all about breaking up the design into different pieces and into different shapes. And that really gives us a more sculptured look because we can easily make like a flat design all going in the same stitch angles, but really it's gonna be very flat, it's gonna be very plain. Sometimes there are designs that, you know, we have no other choice but to do that, but here I really wanted to think outside the box and give it a dimensional look. Things that I'm really looking out for are certain details such as the run stitches, the underlays, the overlaps, and the calculated sequence very important to avoid unnecessary trims and one thing that I'm looking out for is for proper overlaps and just a smooth all-around stitch out so I'll let this design stitch out
Okay, we are off the machine and we are looking super, super clean. And let me get you super, super close so you can see the details. And one thing about embroidery, you have to see it in different angles to really get a true feel for the design. And here, I'm just looking for any imperfection, such as gaps, loose threads, anything that looks off, okay? But everything looks good to go. Thank you for stopping by. See you on the next one. Peace out.